Hey guys, I am just dropping this sneak peek at the video my Patreon members just got today in their mailbox. This is all about animation for uh, Clo 3D, working with Daz and Mixamo. How to import your character into Mixamo and use it in Daz 3D and bring it into Clo 3D where you can dress and animate it and this is just a sneak peek uh, the full video is about 45 minutes long and I go through in detail exactly what you need to do to um, get your characters animated with Mixamo animations especially the catwalk animations and it's a uh, pretty good video I'd say myself because I just really learned that there are so many um, different ways but I found that this way was one of the better ways and uh, faster and you let you focus on the clothing and let you focus on uh, not so much the animation in Daz because it does work very good um, I got this from J vs Lewis who is the WP guru on um, YouTube so if you're watching this on YouTube this is my adaptation of his tutorial and, um, and that's it because I use this um, I use this for my fashion presentations and animations and uh, I found that this workflow is good it's not simple but I'd say it was the simplest and it gets me closer to where I would like to be with animations coming out of DAS 3D and being able to render it in uh, Clo 3D. So this is just a, uh, you know, a little bit I talk about saving pose presets so that you can use the animations over and over for any character. And then I go into uh, stacking um, the different Mixamo animations and how to make them, uh, you know, use them sequentially. Uh, where they're flowing from one animation to the other animation and then to another animation and you can mix and match and combine your own uh, animations for a unique animation did I say animation too many times? <laughs> but anyway guys this is like I said for early access this might come out in about two weeks but um, for my Patreon members they get to watch me do this animation, use it on Genesis 3 character, and bring it into Clo 3D, where I can go ahead and dress and animate it. So I hope you guys enjoy the sneak peek. You might see something flash <laughs> that you might not have known that you can do. Um, I let them watch me build the character and change her skin and do all kinds of different uh, modifications as well as uh, it's not really a pattern making video it's not really a video about creating clothing uh, it's a video about animating and getting a final render animation that you would like to present or put on your instagram or in your portfolio or something like that i do go over <clears throat> how to do the hair uh, so that it looks more realistic using the alpha channel that you can export from Daz 3D for your character and how you actually apply that to the different strands of hair, how you can apply it to the eyelashes. I do go into this a little bit in some other videos, but uh, in this video, I basically give a step-by-step -step on how to do that and why. Uh, let's see. And then once I'm in Clo, I also go through the HDRI process and go through changing your camera lens and your camera vision and uh, focal vision I should say and uh, it was a really good video to make it took some time uh, a few practice runs a few runs of why did it come out like that but you know that's how it is to make videos you kind of have to do things over and over again and I'm just showing you guys what is available on the Patreon and I'm just going to give you these little snippets so you can decide to join and watch the full video. Um, the few full videos will probably come out a couple weeks after uh, just so that my members can soak it all in and get to use it and try it on their own, their own time. 
and that's that I will be doing more videos uh, during the week on different applications uh, tech packer videos coming up on how to make tech packs and there's a video on Tuka tech coming out and a video on assist which is another uh, 3d program that pattern makers can use so I'm just going after 2d and 3d applications so that I can bring them to you guys um, but yeah so in this video again like I said I talk about camera vision focal length HDRI maps how to use them how to import them um, how to make them look realistic in your videos and photos and how to change your lighting presets in glow adding intensity and adding uh, this is not really about adding uh, lights there is a video about adding lights uh, but this is not it and I hope you enjoy it I mean this is uh, fun for me to make I give a lot of tips away of course and just the whole walkthrough experience is definitely definitely one to watch so I hope you all enjoy it and I will catch up with you soon I wasn't able to do a live this week so I'm giving you this little snippet and uh, I will probably do a live uh, sometime around Tuesday or Wednesday uh, after work dies down and deadlines are met then we can play but um <laughs> This weekend was really, really, really full, so I didn't get to do it. But I will give you some more content really soon, so enjoy, guys. Bye-bye.